we will start this video by bringing excellent news involving one of our important players, and while this news is excellent for Barcelona, it is terrible news for Real Madrid. That Rafinha is making an extraordinary start to the season is nothing new to anyone, however, it is not only in Barcelona that he has been shining, but also in the Brazilian team. Given this, in the last few hours the Brazilian national team coach, Dorival Jr., confirmed that Rafinha will be Brazil's official penalty taker for the next match, and this was a hard blow for merengue striker Vinicius Jr. It turns out that in the Brazilian team's last game against Venezuela, Vini Jr. missed a penalty that could have given Brazil the victory, and as in the match before this one against Peru, Rafinha successfully kicked two penalties giving Brazil the victory, consequently the player was elected the official penalty taker of the Brazilian team. At this moment all the media claim that Rafinha is undoubtedly better than Vinicius Jr., and this has divided many opinions in the world of football where many agree and others do not. So, in your opinion, who is better, Rafinha or Vini Jr.? Leave your opinion here in the comments. Now let's move on to the main news, exclusive last-minute bomb. Barcelona already has a list of players who will most likely not continue at the club from January onwards, and with this it was confirmed that striker Ansu Fadi is on the list of possible discards for the next transfer window. There were several clubs interested in Ansu Fadi, however, as Barcelona's number 10 was injured again, it was confirmed today that Fenerbahce has given up on signing the Barcelona striker. Despite Fenerbahce's withdrawal, other clubs remain interested in Ansu Fati at the moment, and today the news came out that a club in Saudi Arabia is crazy about the player and are willing to pay around 50 million euros for the Blagrana striker. In addition to the Arab club, Sevilla is also interested in Ansu Fati, but the Spanish club only wants the player on a loan. As a result, Barcelona have two options at the moment, where the first would be to loan Ansu Fati to Sevilla for a season and the second would be to sell him permanently to a club in Saudi Arabia for around 50 million euros. Given this, in your opinion, do you think Barcelona should loan Ansu Fati to Sevilla or should they sell him to Saudi Arabia? Or would you prefer Barcelona to keep him at the club? Tell me here and I'll be reading your comment, I'll see you in the next video.